Your vehicle may have an available feature that can help keep your distance from the car in front of you. It does everything that normal cruise control does and more. Let me show you how it works. To turn it on, press the on-off switch on your steering wheel. Accelerate to the speed you want. Press the set plus control on your wheel and take your foot off the accelerator. Once Adaptive Cruise is on, it uses radar to constantly scan for slower vehicles in front of you and automatically adjusts your speed to maintain the gap. You may notice that on occasion, you go slower than you initially set your cruise for, but don't worry, the system is still working. And once traffic is cleared, you'll return to the speed you set. You can also adjust your follow distance using the two gap buttons on your steering wheel. Pressing the top button decreases your follow distance setting and allows your car to follow at a closer distance. And pressing the bottom button increases your follow distance setting and expands the distance between you and a car in front of you. In fact, there are four different gaps that you can choose from. One bar, or the sportiest setting, gives you the smallest gap. Two bars, which is the default gap. Three bars, or four, which is the comfort setting, and gives you the biggest gap. Each one represents a different driving style and will adjust to a different gap when you're behind a slower vehicle. Keep in mind, braking at any time turns off the cruise control function and gives you manual control of your speed again. Oh, and one more thing. If you wish to change to the conventional cruise mode, go to the menu settings on your instrument cluster and select driver assist, cruise control, and then choose normal.